like a nostalgic mm -hmm. home of the sun Dutch? Maybe. You really have no idea? Hey, you really have no idea about what's going to happen with the cherry lounge here. No. You, you, uh, you got something else on your mind, Dutch? I just figured if anybody knew the score on the cherry lounge, it would be. Always the cup. Hey, left, go right. You got something to say? Say it! Okay. How does it feel spending time with Isabel again? You know, everything you say sounds like filthy bile. <laughs> so be careful. You're on thin fucking ice with that one. I don't mean much. I'm not. Phones returns. He carries into the sky. Where's money? You say this prostrate as a mind of its own. Damn phones! Oh, that's Mexican truth, sir. Ah! <laughs> oh, honey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You okay? Hey. You look like you're gonna pass out. Well, be careful, man. Don't die right now, but yet, anyway. No, no, I'm tripping. My doctor said I shouldn't get excited. Oh, yeah, I get very nervous. It's the angina. Oh, no. my, my, my pressure goes up. I'm, I'm in trouble. Eight or ten years. I just, I just take them for stress. <laughs> you got a lot of stress, huh? You want a few of these bones? <laughs> Leave them alone, Jagoff. The door bursts open. Eight ball ducks for cover. A drunk and a fedora stands there. Thank God you're open. Get out of here! Get the fuck out of here! The man notices the crucifix. He stops. He kneels. He genuflects. Then he staggers out. Finally, a believer. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait for a pin, you'll help me push my car! Hey! Hey, Muggs, I told your father that this was a private point. He's joking. The next time the door opens, it's going to be Sammy Batts who's going to put a bullet in your head. Hey, why don't you go on your fucking face? And who the fuck do you think you are talking to me? Your best friend who's tired of seeing you self-destruct. Stay this bitch, will you? Uh, come on, Muxy. Come on. Take it easy on him. You can't take it easy with this moron. He's delusional. <laughs> He's living in his own dream world. Hey, how many of you does this maniac owe money to? Huh? How many? <laughs> alright, that's not that many. <laughs> Don't worry about me, alright? I can take care of myself. If you didn't get it in a jackpot with Sammy, you could have stayed here, had a nice time, and, and everything would have been fine. Yeah, and if you would have talked to Caesar, I would have never had to go to Miami. I would have stayed here. He would have listened to you if he would have listened to anybody. I did! And you know that. You saved your life, you ungrateful bastard. Look who I was trying to help. Yeah, yeah. like you really yeah. give a fuck. You just said what you said what you said in front of everybody. You know that. Uh, you fucking right. embarrass me. You're right. You're right. You're right. Motherfucker. You're right. <laughs> I'm trying to apologize. <laughs> what, 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 what do you have a uh, ear of course your ass about? <laughs> like you don't fucking know. No, I don't. Well, why don't you think about it? What you did told me is so. No, it is. Don't you dare. <laughs> Tell me. It's still about Pam after 25 years. I got a witness that saw you go inside her apartment with her. Who? Yeah? Somebody. Somebody. <laughs> I told Who? you I never touched Pam. I drove her home because you were too fucked up to drive and passed out at the reception. Ah, fuck you. You were both coked up. You were liquored up and nothing happened. That nothing I happened. I told you I dropped her off. And somebody else was on the stoop and said, I'll walk her up, Muggs. And I drove off. Well, then tell me why you didn't take a shot at him then. I told you because you were my best friend. You gotta do better than that, Bugs. You gotta do better. Do I? Do I? Okay. I didn't fuck your fiance. He did. <laughs> Me? That's a fucking lie. What are you gonna believe this, you best? You? Tell me the truth. Fuck, what are you fucking nuts? I was downstairs in my own apartment. Ask him if you had the key to our apartment. And was he up there? 
<laughs> Did you? <laughs> Who remembers? I don't know. I was the manager. I, I just went up to make sure Pam was okay. Come on. What the fuck? I'm going to believe him or me. Look me in the eyes. Look me in the eyes. <laughs> you really think in your heart that I would ever do that to you? <laughs> I want you to answer me, money. Did you do anything with Pam that night? Now, you, you look me in the eyes. <laughs> Tell me the fucking truth. No. Money, don't you dare lie to me. Did you? Swear on Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, you know how she was, you know. <laughs> about who. A real friend doesn't do that. I don't care if a friend's wife is fucking loaded and she pulls her tits out. You walk away. And to top it off, you lied to me. You told me, you told me it was my best friend who did it. I was, wrong. I was wrong. Hey, Paul, I am so sorry. She was a beautiful, sensitive kid, dude. She just had a, a problem with drugs, only she wasn't strong enough. She wasn't strong enough to stop on her own. You remember, Money, how she did it? Huh? You remember? I came home, and I found her in bed with a bullet in her head. You remember that? Honest to God, hey, Paul, I feel guilty every time I, I think of it. Honest to God. Yeah, good. Fucking good. I hope you feel that way every day for the rest of your life. Uh, Muggs, <clears throat> please don't take the Jew remark the wrong way. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly. How could I? I I'm sorry, man. I must have been. I must have been retarded to think it was you. Uh, we all make mistakes. Are you okay? Pam was the only woman that I ever trusted, you know? How special that is to trust someone, especially a woman, giving her your heart. Not like me, who's a half bust out. But I knew that no matter what anybody else thought about me, that she was proud of me. Yeah, she was proud of me. And you know what that's like, knowing that you're never going to find that kind of love again? Eh? Money? I know. Love is as fragile as a porcelain china doll. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Well said. Nice. <laughs> to the reunion of the Cherry Cherry Lounge! Lounge. Cherry Lounge. Oh, one big fan. The emotionally spent men raise their glasses. Lights up. Moments later, the liquor has been flowing this 
specialist yeah. for both. <laughs> Why God? Why me? <laughs> I can't catch a fucking break. <laughs> Come on, remember? I was an altar boy. <laughs> Shoot the ball! Ah, oh, you fuck! I need this fucking game! Hey, uh, Mux, I think it's time for you to reveal all of Caesar's gangster secrets about everything, including the cherry lounge. I told you, I'm in the dark too, pal. Don't tell me, you condescending bastard. You know everything there was to know about Caesar. You got a guilty conscience, Dutchman? Don't we all? Then, uh, let's clear the air in here once and for all. What do you say? A little truth? Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! No more secrets? Sounds a little baggy, but, uh... <laughs> maybe you've been living in L.A. too long. Ah. You know, Muggs, everybody's got things they don't want anybody else to know. Not me. I'm tapped out. <laughs> Money, I, look, I gotta apologize. I was a little out of line with Pam. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I just can't forget it. Have a drink, will you forget it? Well, let's talk about that thing. Uh, first we gotta <laughs> talk about what's gonna be with the Cherry Lounge, okay? Enough! There's more important things in life than the fucking Cherry Lounge. And that to me there is, all right? Caesar told me you could let me run the Cherry Lounge full time, okay? I get 50% of the profits. <laughs> what? What 50%? You? Are you serious? You? What the fuck do you care? You? That's a joke. Hey, I'm not a goddamn joke, okay? All right? I got more invested in this goddamn place than anybody else here. Jesus. So fuck you. Yeah. Everybody's got a secret. Yeah. I told you, I have no more secrets. You don't, huh? No. Try this. Who and when is the first time you ever went down on a hole? Oh, God, that's disgusting! <laughs> what are you, nuts? You talking kind of lingish? Kind of who? <laughs> it's I head, mean, it's head, dummy. Head. I, I no, would head. never go down on a wall. That's probably why all your wives left you. <laughs> Too shame, man. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, look at this fucking game. Take a fucking three oh. shot now. I, I still want to know what you all think is going to happen with the cherry lounge. Well, don't wonder because it doesn't concern you, eh? <laughs> it will work itself out. You, know, you keep on fucking saying that, you know? So if you know anything about it, I mean, if you know what's going to happen, now's the time, Muggs. Right now's the time. If he knew, he would have told us. Us? Who's talking to you, Jackoff? Hey, oh, I asked oh, you to watch your uh, mouth with uh, me, uh, bro. Take it off of me. Easy, shit. Dodge. Take it easy on him, huh? He's pretty stiff. He's always <laughs> stiff. Stop protecting the little prick. Tell him. Mind your business. <laughs> he is my business. Tell him. It's not important. What? It's not important. Tell him. He's got a right to know. Okay. I pinched your father for home invasion, right? Yeah, and you never should have, yeah. What I never should have done is not reported the rape of the woman in the house he robbed. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, he, my father never raped anybody. No, he raped the woman of the house they burglarized. I went to talk to her twice to convince her that if she pressed charges of rape, her name would be public and her name would be in the papers. Why'd you do it? Because he was your father and you were my friend. Why'd you wait till Caesar was dead to tell me? That was between me and him, and thanks. I got, I got years of cold stares from other cops, no gold shield, and the cold shoulder from everybody here, including Caesar. You did the right thing, Dutch. Oh, did I? You know where I wound up? Addicted to prescription pills. My life's a fucking disaster. My own son doesn't talk to me. The only human contact I have is with hookers. <laughs> All of you! You're not happy unless you're, there's blood in the fucking walls, on the floor. Everybody's pecking, biting, clawing at each other. God damn it! Turn up already! It's like a fucking cock fight! Hey, whoa, relax. Oh, Come on, you should break your balls. It is not breaking balls. It is awful. <laughs> always was and always will be. <laughs> it wasn't always like this. No, no, it was. You see, you were too busy fucking gambling. You got to be high, you never know. Hey, watch your fucking mouth. Yeah. 
You're gonna regret talking to me like that, you fucking. You fucking hurt yourself lately, huh? Regret this, regret that, huh? Life's full of regrets. I got my fucking own you. What the fuck do you have to regret? You want a golden boy? Come on, Bones. Life was laid out on a silver platter for you. And you know, ever since you got back from St. Louis, you're a pain in my fucking ass. I mean, I know you were a half-ass star, but that's old. Ah, that's bullshit. He played pro ball for an hour and a half. That was it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Did you what? forget? He's the only one of us who made it out of this dump. He was the kid. Kid! I am not the kid. I'm anybody's fucking hero. Hey? Wanna know why I left the St. Louis car? Oh, come yeah. on, Adam. We heard this fucking story 20 times now. <laughs> you slid into third. You blew out your fucking knee. Blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. Fuck you. That was bullshit. The truth was I was homesick and I was scared and I wasn't going to make the team and so I started drinking like really heavy. I never stopped. I got two warnings. I didn't listen. One night in my room I'm blind as a fucking bat and went to the hallway to get some ice. Went out on the balcony. I slipped and fell. Two stories. <laughs> I broke my fucking leg in two places. That's why I got cut from the Cardinals. No more dreams of baseball for me. I have been fucking alcoholic. I've been a fucking drunk for 40 years. After baseball, I'm always trying to please everybody except myself. Huh? I had my childhood sweetheart. Got two kids. Huh? Tried doing everything right. Know what I got for? <laughs> I'm afraid to look in the mirror. I might see a fucking ghost. Well, maybe you should go in the back, get a rope, and finish the job. What's wrong with you? Come on. Fuck you. I'll worry when I'm on the, on the other side of the grass. Well, I'll worry about us on, on this side of the grass. Oh, who are you all of a sudden? I'm the guy when his time comes is going to have his funeral right here in Cherry Lounge <laughs> with all his friends. Huh? You can lay me out. Right on the ball. <laughs> I don't think the new owner would appreciate a funeral in here. Why not? Caesar would have loved it. Caesar's dead. I'll be too if these fucking scumbags don't score. <laughs> <laughs> What's a better place to get laid out than the most sacred place to all of us? The Cherry Lounge. Maybe the new owner might not think it's such a sacred place. Well, maybe Isabel will. I doubt it. How do you know what she'll think, huh? Now, who, who are you? Who are you? The FBI with all these questions? Why are you so against my idea? Do you care? You nosy Jew bastard. Oh, money. You know you've been saying all goddamn day not to worry. Everything's gonna work itself out, right? Well, look. For for one, whoever buys it, there's a ton of legal paperwork and a lot of negotiating to do on a purchase. Remember, that's what I do for a living: buy and sell. What were you buying or selling when you talked to Caesar? At the Bulls game three months ago. Hmm? What are you talking about? Man? Are you nuts? The Bulls game, what happened? What happened? Don't start trouble, Muggsy. Yeah, you know, you weren't even around. Yeah, but a little buddy told me all about it. You are one twisted, cold blooded bastard. <laughs> what, 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 what happened? Nothing happened. Muggsy rolls, remember? Can't you pass the fucking ball? This guy never passed the ball. Fuck, yeah. fuck Muggsy and his rules. How the hell can you accuse me of something you know nothing about? Well, maybe he does, man. You prick. What the fuck did you have to come back here for, for anyway, will you? The truth. What's the story? Come on, money. No more fucking bullshit. What's the story? Okay, okay. I bought the cherry lines from fucking Caesar. So fucking what? what? So what? So what the fuck happens to me? You bought it? When? A few months ago. For 300000 in cash. Cash? Where my cash is from. I'm yeah. gonna take that fucking phony Mexican LeBron statue. I'm gonna chop it up. I'm gonna burn it to fucking pizza. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm gonna put you in a fucking... I, uh, fuck you. I gave Caesar more cash than he ever would have gotten for this property. Because you, you're just a generous guy. I'm right? supposed to get half of that, you son of a bitch. Don't worry, I told you. Fuck you, don't worry. You tell my wife and kids don't worry, you motherfucker. <laughs> Why didn't you have the balls just to tell the truth? I don't, want, I don't want to say anything to the Caesar. Oh, Bullshit. Man. You were so fucking jealous of Caesar, you couldn't see straight. Why would I be jealous of him? Because he had the balls to be what he was 
without pretending to be something else. Okay, let's all slow down for a minute. Think about it. Maybe him buying is not such a bad idea. At least he's not a stranger. It stays <coughs> in the family. What are you, is all of a sudden you're his attorney now, Dutch? Yeah, but you're going to keep it the cherry lounge, right? Right? Sure. Right. What about me? What the fuck do I do? Take care of your bones. You, you still you run the day to day. It's a lot, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of you talking about dark secrets like some mystical guru. As far as I'm concerned, you can keep the next 10 or 20 years. I don't want to wind up broke with my dignity gone, dribbling and being in fucking diapers. Death is easy, Dutch. It's the dying part that's tough. Says who? Says who? <laughs> <laughs> says me. Wait until death stares you right in the fucking face. You'll kick, scream, and piss in your diapers, and your dignity will be out the fucking window. It's bad. What makes you so? Yeah, what, 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 what makes you such an expert on death, Thomas? Something my doctor told me. He said, Mr. Pierce, you better get your fears in order. Huh? What does that mean? What? Yeah. Die. What? Come on, don't even say that fucking around. Let's stop. Come on, oh, see, come on, man. God forbid. Hey, 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 you're not Shoot. serious, are you? So, that's why you came home? Yeah. What? What? Cancer? Cancer? Yeah. Oh, you mean there's nothing they can do for you? Well, like, what kind of cancer do you have? Fourth stage, make you out of cancer. Ah, uh, no chemo, radiation, nothing. Doctors gave me uh, three to six months to live. I don't even know what the pancreas does. <laughs> <laughs> it kills you. Hey, 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 hey. You can't die in the Better men than me have died, Billy. You know what, man? I'll tell you what, if that was me, I'd go fucking psychotic. I'd be in fucking Mexico, I'd try every experimental drug there was. I mean, look at that fucking bicycle guy, what's his name, Lance Fuckface. <laughs> the guy, the liar, his balls are hanging down the hill with cancer. All right? He's even got him up from here to his fucking brain. He's got it both fucking places. His balls in his brain, and he's still walking around. Gotta get some different opinions. I mean, you gotta fight the guy. Yeah. Man, will you? I have to. You gotta, you gotta go to the Mayo Clinic. Now forget all that shit. They're the best in the country. Not fair. I, I swear to God, life sucks. Life fucking sucks. Oh, Why you? Come on. Come on. I'm not that dead. Hey. <gasps> do it out of here, man. Come on. You did pretty good in the last 10 years. Huh? Yeah, but it's because I knew, I knew, I knew you were. I knew you were going to come back someday. You know, my cousin had breast cancer. She had both of her, her knobs taken off. And two years later, she's fine. You'd never know it. You look at her, you, you couldn't tell. Oh, yes. Come on, no more smart remarks. You feel the Dutch. <clears throat> you know, they're doing all these new scientific breakthroughs. They have these clinical trials and new drugs every day. Come on, Mugs, you're an intelligent man. Come yeah. On. I don't want any more needles, probes, machines, tests. Feeling worse from the medicine they treat you with and the cancer itself. So, I'm tired. No more. You can't just stop fighting. I mean, uh, not you. I'm tired, Bones. I'm just tired. Have you talked to anybody in the hospital, a priest, a rabbi, somebody, anybody? They all came by, money. Just said it's not my cup of tea, you know? Oh, no. oh come on! Play a little, right, will ya? Right. Bugs, give me a little help with these points. Come on. Pull this Leave along with you for Christ's sake. Hey, fuck sake. you! Look, I don't like talking about death, especially when it's my best friends. Let's try changing the subject a little, you know? Right in the moment. Maybe, uh, let's tell a few old stories. Laugh. You know, you're a lot smarter than you look. <laughs> I've been trying to tell you that for 40 years. Everybody thinks it's just about my looks. No. <laughs> Don't start with the old Lang Syne. Oh, you don't oh, like talking about the past, Dutch? I guess you don't want to hear about Cookie Provino. What oh! About, what? What about it? Oh, that's right. He I, fucking I, 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 oh, I forgot about it. Oh, you never forget anything, you son of a bitch. I love Cookie since the fourth grade. You took her away. You 
She was just another notch in your belt. Why didn't, why didn't you just stand up and say something? Well, why didn't you just, why didn't you fight for her? Fuck you. And I thought you hated me all this time because I'm a Jew. That's most of it. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie was the other part. Look in the mirror. Maybe it's not me I hate. Blow me. Don't you, don't you have an ounce of compassion, you son of a bitch? What do you know? A Nazi with a heart of gold. You are really a fucking snake. You and fucking Caesar ruined my life. We did? You want to know the truth about Dutch and your father boats? Huh? Dutch didn't do it on account of friendship. He did it because Caesar told him to do it. Dutch smelled the shot to advance his career. <laughs> Make money and ask Caesar if he did it. Would Caesar put up the put, put him up on the pad? His private comp. Caesar agreed, but he wanted Dutch never to mention it. After that, anytime Caesar needed needed a dirty cop, he called Dutch. Why didn't you ever tell me you knew? <laughs> Caesar was my friend. What was I? I gave Caesar my word. Your word to a fucking gangster? It was my word. You and Caesar shared everything, didn't you? Does that go for Isabel too? You cocksucker! Mention her name again and I swear to God, I'm gonna strangle you! Right here! Fuck you. So come on, tough guy. You had us do it. Tell us all your dirty secrets. <clears throat> The man not even afraid of death. Hey, come on, lighten up with the insensitive bullshit, you motherfucker. My secret, Dutch? <laughs> Ready? I'm a stranger to myself. I have an instinct for self-destruction. I'm an actor. See, that's what a coward is. He pretends. It's not easy being a coward. It takes a lot of work. 24 7 365. Fear is what drives cowards, not courage. Money cell phone rings on the bar. I was afraid of everything. Life, death, too much love. Somebody Not grab the phone. Good afternoon, Cherry Lounge. Mr. Casario is, is, uh, is in a very, very important meeting. No, this is Bobby Brajol. I'm his assistant. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Brajol. Bobby Brajol, yeah. Can I take a message? Could you repeat that? No, I'll make sure he gets it. Trust me. Who's that? You ain't gonna fucking believe this what? fat motherfucker. Oh, I pay a hundred grand for a new press, press day. Who we'll called? You know who that I'll was, man? You. That was your attorney. Huh? You know what he said? He said, for me to tell you that the counteroffer came in on the Cherry Lounge property. That's no, no, said. you must have misunderstood the attorney. I'll, I'll get I'll get it back on the phone. It's another yeah, property. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Oh, is the other property also called the Cherry Lounge, eh? Guess he has a lawyer and a prospective buyer on standby. You tried to hustle us into believing that everything was fucking hunky dory. You agreed to freaking uh, well, look, 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 guys, nothing's written in stone yet. You rotten son of a bitch! You know, we just wanted to stall for time. So we'd never know until it was too late and you and your fucking bitch would skate off with the cash in the sunshine. Fuck you. <laughs> what do I do now, Bob Cars? It's business. I never meant to hurt anybody. Would you wait till the cops got cold? Property around here has gone through the roof. Nicole's in real estate, and she insisted I should roll this property over into an eight-condo unit, make a quick two million profit. She insisted? Well, fuck her. Yeah. What about you? What did you? Oh, insist? so let me let me see let me see if I got this right. You mean this new guy is already is the one who owns the Cherry Lounge? No, not yet. Not legally. That is not until everything's finalized. When you bought it, did you tell Caesar what you planned for? I did tell him that I had something in mind to earn us both a lot of money in a short time. Something in mind? You give uh, Caesar that promise on paper? Huh? I gave him my oath as a Christian, living my life to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you wouldn't recognize Jesus Christ if he came up and beat you on your fat ass. <clears throat> and let me tell you something about being born again. Yeah. Heretic. <laughs> Save my soul and my life. 
<laughs> when I lost my wife, Carol, after 28 years to cancer, money's all I had, nothing inside. The highlight of my life was driving over here once in a while on my Ferrari at 140, hoping I'd run into a fucking wall. <laughs> Too bad you didn't. Then I rediscovered my faith. So after five years of being alone and miserable, I met Nicole a prayer, a Christian and a kindred spirit. I'd do anything to keep up. I, I call it love, and I don't want to lose it again. What are you saying? This is all about uh, Christ and love? Hey, no, I got a right to be happy. I, I got a bad tickle. Who knows how long I'll be around? I hope your heart explodes. <laughs> <laughs> and except for Bones, uh, the rest of us stop by him, what, maybe once or twice a year at the holidays, and you, you haven't been here in ten years. It's still our place. Oh, come on. Are you guys ten years old? This isn't a clubhouse anymore. It's the past. Friends lived and died in this place. There's our souls and our blood in here. Well, grow up, dreamer. The world's about money, the haves or the have-nots. Uh, are you positive you want to sell it? Why? I just wondered. Is that a threat? No. You have no idea what you did to yourself. Fucking bulls, what a bunch of losers. I hope your team, I hope the team bus crashes. And I hope if you have dogs, they all fucking die. <laughs> and I hope your fucking heart explodes right. again. Look, look, when Caesar bought this place, it turned out to be our own Shangri-La. Every time we walk in here, it's 1975, and we're happy and nobody's old or sick <laughs> or dying. And best of all, we still have our dreams. And, and then we walk out through that door, and reality is waiting with us. Slap in its face. But the Cherry Lounge makes that slap a little easier to, to take. What does that have to do with me buying it? Every once in a while I get an envelope with some cash. Three years ago, I got a manila envelope that came from Caesar. Once he pulls out an envelope. And inside, this was this notarized witness signed bill of sale for one dollar. It was for the purchase of the Cherry Lounge with me. Sam Pierce is the new owner. I called Caesar and said, what the fuck is this all about? And he said, just in case. Now I knew, now I know what he meant. What? Fucked up money. You're saying that you legally already owned the Cherry Lounge for three years? Caesar sold it to you three years ago. <laughs> That's karma, not Jesus, you fat fuck. Karma. <laughs> you couldn't, I own it. I, I paid it 300 G's just for this drink. Hey. You got the paperwork? <laughs> huh? the bill of sale. Looky, looky. So I guess that straightens everything out. <clears throat> not for me. Me either. I heard Sammy Bats would be coming out to the Cherry Lounge more than usual lately, huh? Me too. That's why I stayed in Florida. <laughs> you saw Sammy here a lot, huh? Right, Bones? Uh, sure. Uh, matter of fact, one night, money came in. 247. And the only one Caesar could have trusted enough to let in this basement at 3 in the morning. Oh, you're twisting everything. Well, yeah, I, I know how you think, Muggs. You think somehow I got somehow involved with Caesar's skill. No, you're not that oh. brave. I'm more concerned with 8-Ball getting killed. What? Me? <laughs> Everybody and their mother knew Sammy's looking to kill you for years. Yeah. But he couldn't while Caesar was alive. Once Sammy had Bones set up, he figured that he could use Bones to get to you. What do you mean, use Bones? Bones? I swear to God, you know, you're nuts if you think for one minute I ever would do something like that just for money. When people say it ain't for money, it's, it's for money. It's for money. <laughs> what do you mean, Bones? Hey, you, Fuzzy, I asked you a question, Jack. Okay, stop it, okay? 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 I'm no. confused. I'm confused. I, I mean, everybody slow down, okay? Sammy would come in and tell me how much he, he wanted to help me, and when he said it was okay, he was a great guy, and Sammy always offered me cash, and, and, but, but he never said anything about that eight ball. He, nothing. You never mentioned eight ball? No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe, okay? But, but I, don't, I, no, I don't remember when. What, what, what did you talk to someone? Who to talk to, huh? Who's gonna listen to me? Wait a second. Sammy set you up, you fucking rummy. And you didn't even know it. 
Now stop talking in circles, you stupid fuck. Hey, shut the fuck up! No, fuck you! Oh, fuck you! God, God damn it! Don't call me stupid again, okay, you motherfucker? Don't call me Webby again, ever! You want to treat me like I'm a, like I'm a oh. fucking idiot, okay? Okay, but I am not. I am a grown oh, fucking man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You were gonna walk me out, you Jewish motherfucker. Didn't you figure if we walked out together, he'd whack both of us? Stop it. Everybody's just... Oh, oh. Boom! Put the gun down before somebody gets hurt. Listen, everything just got crazy, okay? Caesar got, Caesar got killed and, and, and then suddenly Sammy said that, that, that I'd pay all his fucking money back at once unless... If, unless I walked outside with eight bar and, and, said, and he said he's gonna kill me, all right? How much was you gonna pay for my life, you cocksucker? Your fucking fault, you, you motherfucker. Huh? You son of a bitch. You asked me to talk to Sammy, okay? You fucking lied. You lied about everything. I fucking trusted you, you rat fuck. Huh? You told me Sammy was a good guy, right? You fucking motherfucker! Dutch draws his pistol into the bones. Damn it, both of you. Put the fucking gun to I'm warning you, to put it down. Shoot the fat fuck! Go ahead, shoot, shoot him in the legs! Put the guns down. Put the guns down. Head first! Oh, what if I can figure out how to settle the money and send me? Put it down, Bones, I mean it. Stop it. Hey, Paul, how much exactly do you owe? I owe, uh, about 82,000 change. Bones? How much you Uh, fuck. Thirty thousand. And who's the only one here with that kind of cash? Huh? Forget it. Does everybody here have a sunbag and a piece of shit, a greedy piece of shit, and all of a sudden I'm, I'm supposed to be everybody's savior? When time comes to me to turn this very lines over, what if I turn it over to you, huh? Oh, put the gun on the floor. No, no, no. That still means I'd be paying over four hundred grand for this joint. Better than paying 300000 for a handful of nothing. Just do it, asshole! Now, what do you say, money? Huh? Tell folks this guy. Now! Bones, Bones. <coughs> I'm sorry, Bones. I swear to God, I'll make it up right. But please, put the gun down. Bones, come on. I don't want to die. Come on. Wait, Bones. I'm not going to tell you again, Bones. Down! Dutch, relax. In the leg. <laughs> Bones, he takes out his cherry lounge bill of sale. <clears throat> what are you gonna do? See if Sammy will take the money's deal. Listen, I'll, I'll, I'll go out there with you, Muggs. I mean, it's all my fault. Okay, let me, let me just let me just go talk to Sammy. Okay? No, no let the jack off for a while. You take it. Money, listen to me. What? You give Big Bull and Bones twenty-five points each in the cherry lounge. Matter, matter of fact, give your man, uh, give your man Dutch twenty-five. Yeah. Why? They're not paying me everything for a quarter interest in this joint. Fucking grief you cause, you're getting off late. Caesar's dead, and two of us almost died here tonight because of your fucking greed. Okay. You got a deal. Make sure the new bill of sale says uh, what I just said, Dutch. I will. Mumsy takes the bill of sale, holds his lighter under it, it burns away in her <coughs> You know, you know, Tommy Wolf was wrong. You can go home again. You just can't stay alone. Mosey <laughs> <laughs> exits. You think this is funny, Dutch? Yeah. Mosey manipulated this whole thing from the moment Isabel told him Caesar was murdered. He was going to kill Sammy Bats, cancer and no cancer. He wanted the Cherry Lounge to stay the way it was, just like Caesar wanted it. And he did. Well, what he said about the coward thing. What, what? Bullshit. That's <laughs> for us. Think he's gonna work it out with Sammy? Muggsy? He can talk Christ into not coming back to work. <laughs> we hear four loud gunshots in the rear. Black. Yeah.